This accounting officer, Dave Morton, has only been there five weeks. Yeah, I, that's a suboptimal situation. Ill-advised uh, uh, stunt by a man who's now turning into who was the savant. Uh, is he turning David into an idiot savant? <laughs> I, I, it's, it's strange decisions that he continues to make. Listen, I, by the way, I would not have tobacco with pot. I think you should just have the marijuana. Oh, it's so good that I you... I think it's better for you probably also you, a not to mix in the so you're talking about a, But I, you know what? I don't... I, I, people are not... The idea that smoking that, it's more about the behavior itself and the decision making, I think, that is giving investors right. pause. Well, and I... Look, a chief accounting officer who leaves, this is such a red flag. I was interviewing Brent Selleck yesterday. He's really terrific. He's a tight end for the Eagles for 11 years. He's made a lot of money. He's done a lot of things right. Said, listen, if the Model 3 comes out and it's good, the stock's going to go up. These things make it so that that Model 3 narrative is very hard for the bondholders. And remember, it's the bondholders that matter, not the stockholders. And the bonds keep going down. Now, in the AK, uh, Morton has a quote where he says, I, I don't have any problem with the company's financial reporting or their leadership. The issue for him, apparently, is the degree to which Tesla has gotten public attention more than he expected when he took this job just over a month ago. Well, let's think about it. If, if, think about any other company other than Tesla. I mean, Tesla, okay, so let's say we're talking about I don't know. I, like Jeff Bezos. Okay, Jeff Bezos is a good example because he's a recluse. We don't see him. Uh, the, the reason why we like uh, Amazon, besides all the growth, is you never see this kind of thing. You just never do. And by the way, it, pot may be legal, okay? But we have we have 50 states, and it's not legal in all of them. And this is a national, it's an international company. Uh, I don't think anyone should be in a situation where their company is completely under a cloud, where he's completely under a cloud, and he does something that I regard as being un shining, unstable, it's, unstable I mean, behavior. Chief accounting guy walked in on the, I mean, let's not forget about the madness of the we're going private, we're not going private, two-week, three-week period. How about there's a lawsuit that, was, that I'm sure David is familiar with? Andrew Citron suing. Oh, I saw that. Now, what's the standing of a short seller? But, I would tell you none. But man, that guy generates headlines. No, he does. But 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 that decision making there, I think people are still. They haven't gotten over that. No. The just the series of 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 poorly uh, executed and poorly poor choices. What was he under the, the, of, under of the influence? I mean, there it is. I mean, funding secured. Uh, you know, my. Uh, August seventh. This guy took. The, you can. This, he he this, joined August five. Yeah. Okay. Six. Sorry. August so, six. Day after. This is what he's dealing with. You can wonder why his world was turned upside down. Did he do month. it? Did he do any due diligence, this chief accounting officer? Um, at at uh, the current levels here, two fifty nine. That's going to take you back to April, I think. Yeah, and we got. I've not checked up. I, mean, I was looking at the bonds last night. Uh, we're really absolutely talking about. Uh, a situation that I regard as being tenuous now. It's a tenuous situation. But the situation. question is, is the board of directors going to take any action here? And, and by the way, I don't, I mean, really, if he does an, uh, an interview and he smokes a cigar that's, He, I mean, he should so at least what? be, somebody put him on leave. For what? For, not for what he, that, for, last night. You didn't break no. the law. No, 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 talking no, to some guy. I'm still going to Pulitzer Prize winning uh, Jim Stewart's uh, uh, piece. Uh, again, guys, I am fighting to say something other than unstable because it's TV. If we, when we go to a commercial, I will tell you what I think this kind of behavior really is, which is the behavior of a man who is, should not be running a public company. That's the strongest I think I've heard you on Tesla. I've never seen it. Well, look, the chief accounting officer. I remember some chief accounting officers in another day who quit, who got in trouble. Yeah. Another, well, this guy was only there for a month. Well, yeah, but what does that say? No, well, hey, the month that he was there, again, the next day, his CEO says, we're going to try and take the company public at a number that I just picked out of Probably. the air that sounds like a decent number, and I have secured funding, only to find out, of course, he really didn't have secured funding, and it wasn't a true go private. It was some sort of hybrid approach that would have involved converting most of the public shareholders to private shareholders, and, uh, and then a couple weeks later, now we're not going to do it.